friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 9th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we've seen multiple M-class solar flares. Since even today's update, earlier space weather update, we've seen another two M-class topping the list look in the last 48 hours incoming we do have a very active sunspot region cresting right now getting ready for an earth facing view and events as this thing is wild and has been very active large sunspot region last 48 hours outgoing and not much action there except for the couple c and m class solar flares no major CMEs have erupted from there. But another close look here at the most recent events on our sun. As we had about four or five days there, the sun was very quiet. We had zero sunspots in the Earth-facing view. And then the backside lit up and turned itself around. And it's putting on quite a show for us here. We are under R1 geomagnetic conditions. Very high frequency radio disruptions are expected. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, able to see all of the events. As well, noticing northern hemisphere there, a few solar tornadoes whipping themselves right around the pole. and the southern pole at the same time. Here are those fast-growing sunspot regions as we have four Earth-facing right now and they're highly active, so heads up. Looking at 171 angstroms here, we can see our heliosphere in action and as well a more detailed view at the solar filaments whipping around sunspot regions. Solar X-ray flux is now down into a low C range after seeing two more M-class solar flares since today's update. So that's eight M-class solar flares in the past 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity is up again a little bit here, 3.5. Looking at the X-ray flux, this is the highest frequency affected. Cosmic rays absorption onto our planet today quick look at our aurora forecast for the next 24 hours definitely going to see something there in western europe and as well across canada today and tonight maybe even as far down as wisconsin looking at the real-time solar wind we're sitting at 487 kilometers per second right now after being up over about 583 kilometers per second that was overnight last night This was space prediction spiral. No new events to be showing here. Just a minor CME taking off. Not really in an Earth-facing fashion. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 7. Not too much to show or talk about here with the Schumann resonance. A little bit of heightened activity in the past couple hours. Quality of 9.7. Amplitude of 3. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, sitting at about 250 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS, so we are slightly above average. Largest being here, 5.5 Solomon Islands. And our deepest earthquake today, 491 kilometer depth, Fiji Islands. F uh, 580 before that yesterday. Activity here, Papua New Guinea, north coast of Papua, Indonesia. As well, minor activity through Banda Sea. 4.8 earthquake here, Taiwan. Quiet across Japan and eastern Russia. 4.6 magnitude here, northern Sumatra, 43 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.1 there in Naku, China. 4.7 here, Carlsberg Ridge, Somalia Plate. As well, Kanda, 
Tanzania reporting a 4.7 earthquake. And minor activity here still continues through Turkey. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Sinkik was the latest to get hit, 4.3. Also notable here, South Sandwich Islands, a 5.0 and a 5.4. Northern regions of the South Sandwich Islands. South American Plate, San Antonio de los Cobros, 211 kilometer depth. As well, 4.5 there, Calama. And it matching a 5.5 here, Guanhana, Honduras. Activity has quieted down through the Caribbean. Looking across North American plate, notable earthquake here, 2.6, Virginia. And as well, California here, largest today was a 3.3 in Colinga, California, California IA. And as well, a 3.4 there reported off the coast of Oregon. Increasing seismicity across Hawaii today. Largest being 2.9. Going to be keeping an eye on volcanic activity there. Kilauea Summit Caldera is still very active and pulsating right now. Let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Also give a quick moment here and say thoughts and prayers to everybody affected in Syria and Turkey with these large earthquake events that we've seen here the last week. Devastating destruction. Almost 11,000 people's lives lost. Way too quiet Central America, way too quiet Cascades. Heads up, everybody. It's all about staying aware and prepared, and daily events worldwide will do that with daily updates on earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And of course, our beautiful star. Let's have a look at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Sangue in Ecuador, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Fuego in Guatemala. 237 active hazards with this app right now. So very busy app. A lot of them are floods coming in across Malaysia and Indonesia. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. Popocatito in Mexico. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Era in Japan, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Karangatang, Indonesia, awakened 20 hours ago, Shevaluch, Russia, and Karinchi, Indonesia, large eruption there that helped produce a lot of the new sulfur emissions across the northern hemisphere. Having a look here, satellite imagery, large low pressure system across eastern United States and Canada, across the Pacific, Southeast Asia and Australia. We do have Tropical Cyclone Gabriel, who is alive, Category 1. We also have Tropical Cyclone Freddy and Tropical Cyclone Dingani. Overlooking Africa, still lots of cloud cover through parts of South Africa, and as well, a low pressure system moving through the Mediterranean. Strong Atlantic low getting ready to move into parts of Eastern Europe. And as well, watch through the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Could see stormy conditions here in the next few days. As you can see, there is a low tracking northeastwards towards the maritime provinces. By Saturday, we're going to see extreme weather event through the Gulf states as we get an abnormal warm push of air and moisture across eastern parts of United States and Canada and the west coast will see cooler conditions and as well moisturous with a low coming through Alberta and then a low here developing Colorado could see some pretty stormy conditions there a lot of moisture has been falling across eastern United States, Gulf states. So heads up, watch for flood warnings. Overlooking South America, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains. 
no major low pressure systems although you could see some pretty heavy rains off the coast of buenos aires argentina overlooking africa madagascar heavy rains to continue through southeastern parts of africa before scooting away tuesday and then having a look here at freddy And as well, Dingani. Overlooking Europe. Low pressure center still grinding through the Mediterranean right now. Looks like it will be ushered through parts of northern Africa. And then out to the Atlantic. Long range forecast showing abnormally warm temperatures. Moving up into central Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, no major tropical systems developing. Could see some pretty heavy rains through parts of northern China. Overlooking Australia, down under, as we do have, here is the path of tropical cyclone Gabriel. As it looks like it will be getting ready for landfall, northern parts of New Zealand, Monday the 13th. And watch for some extreme weather eastern side of the continent australia and as well in northern territories as we have a low getting ready to grind through there leave you here looking at the pacific watching all of this moisture heading and funneling towards bc coastline going to see some heavy snowfall totals and as well as some flood watches i'm sure for parts of BC and some extra warm equatorial push of moisture here coming out of Hawaii much love stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do hope you enjoyed today's video bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world